Reverend Al Sharpton, Reverend Charles Williams, my co-host, XL Friday. And you have one segment left if you want to wish somebody, either your physical father or a father in the community, a happy Father's Day. Let's take your calls now at one 5797 or tweet me at twitter.com, the Rev Al, twitter.com, the Rev Al. Don't forget, Sunday morning, Father's Day, 8 a.m. Eastern, 7 a.m. Central. Watch me on Politics Nation with Al Sharpton, live on MSNBC. And tomorrow, the Saturday Action Rally in Harlem. You did it in New York, 145th and Lenox from 9 a.m. to 11 you that around the country can watch it on Impact Television, Impact Television, or Facebook Live at National Action Network. If you're in Detroit, Rev. Williams, tell them where to be. They can join us tomorrow at 10 a.m. over at the historic King Solomon Baptist Church at 6100 14th Street, 10 a.m. We're going to be dealing with Flint. We're going to be dealing with Cuba. We're going to be dealing with a whole host of issues that we have been working on on a week-to-week, day-to-day basis. And so if you haven't gotten the movement, make sure you take this time to take the opportunity to get in the movement because we can talk about it all day long. But if we don't do nothing about it, we will continue to regress instead of progress. All right. one 532 5797 Your Father's Day gifts have we wind down. I know you want to wish a happy... Father's Day to your father, Reverend Williams. Absolutely. You know, my father, Reverend Charles Edward Williams Sr., uh, has certainly been one of those uh, high-impact people in my life. It's all the way up until this very day, he has continued to be there for me. I appreciate him, uh, and I appreciate all that he has done and sacrificed uh, for me over the time. But I wouldn't be remiss if I did not just thank my father of my birth, but also the father of the birth of my business, which is civil rights, and that is Reverend Al Sharpton. Certainly, I thank you, and I'm sure Tulis and Shane and Kirsten and Mary Pat and all of us who are uh, uh, from other generations younger than yours, we uh, look up to you, we appreciate you, and appreciate all that you have done and sacrificed and treaded out for us. High respects go to you because you have certainly uh, opened many doors for many of us, and uh, you, can, you keep on doing it. And, and that is a great appreciation to us because we so often have run into people, and I'm sure every single one of those names I have mentioned, uh, we run into people all the time who want to help do they only want to help on their terms they want to help only if they can use you and abuse you uh and because you have been through all of that and you just unabashedly want to see the next generation carry on the torch uh uh we 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 call you our father and we certainly appreciate you for what you have done well i appreciate that and certainly on father's day i think of those that help me as i try to help the generations behind me are uh, like Charles Williams and like uh, K.W. Toulis and Shane Harris and Mary Pat Hector and all, and my own daughters who are bona fide activists on their own rights. Dominique, who's in the studio today, she's usually at NAM, and uh, she's filling in for her younger sister. Ashley was in the studio every day. I'm sure she's out buying a Father's Day gift for me on Sunday. Hint, hint, hint. But I also want to thank, uh, uh, wish Happy Father's Day to those that raised me in the movement, Reverend Jesse Jackson, who's been like a father uh, about a generation ahead of me.